Hi, I'm here with David Naglieri. He's the senior producer of digital media at the Knights of Columbus. Thanks for being with us. Great to be with you, Bonnie. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. It's it's wonderful to see you again. I lots of times see you on the road. Yeah, so yeah. It's good to have you in the house. In I'm the house. Very you know? impressed by your studio. So <laughs> grateful to finally be here. Well, yeah. Good. Good. Now, tell us. You know, so here you are, a mm. digital producer for the Knights of Columbus. Yeah. Why is it important for an organization such as that vast organization to have somebody who works in in that function? Yeah, well, I think um, I think very much like what the work you're doing, it's so important with this new media uh, for the gospel and for the truth to be transmitted, right? So, um, young people, whether they're on Facebook, they're on Instagram, or they're you know on their latest digital app. Um, we want to be there and be present and tell the, the kind of stories that are positive, that are uplifting, and to, in the example of this documentary, to show them examples of the people that they should be trying to emulate in their lives. So, sure. um, and for the Knights of Columbus, of course, we want also to be an invitation. So it's an opportunity for young men, old men, men of all ages, to realize that becoming a member of the Knights of Columbus could be a way for them to become a better man, a better Catholic, a better husband, a better father, to get involved in their community, and to see examples of how other men are doing that through the film, through video, um, is it just, it's a powerful means yeah. of communication. Yeah. Yeah. I always say it's one of our ways to be missionaries, to be where they are, but mm -hmm. it's really very anonymous. But in your case, you're bringing, in, in this particular documentary that we're talking about, yeah. Everyday Heroes, right. The lives of men who you've selected and how they're living out their faith every day. I mean, the range goes from a, a Puerto Rican dad, you know, with mm -hmm. a couple of kids who's faced mm -hmm. discrimination to an MLB superstar, not a Red Sox player, yeah, yeah, but yeah, MLB right. star nonetheless. That's right, that's so right. tell us about the cast of characters and, and, and the resonance of their stories. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you, you're absolutely right. That, and, and that's kind of a little bit by design. We wanted to get a very varied, bit, whether by age, by profession, whether notoriety. And the kind of work they're doing, we want it to be very varied. So we have everything from men who gave their life in Iraq and Afghanistan, interviewed their mother and their father oh. and members of their council and, and, and talked a bit about their devotion to their country and patriotism. Because, you know, patriotism is a core pillar of the Knights of Columbus. Sure. And these have some very moving stories um, uh, of veterans who gave their lives. Um, we have a former Major League Baseball star, Mike Sweeney, who you yep. referenced, who yep. was a great uh, player for the Kansas City Royals and someone who... Uh, is known for his deep Catholic faith and also his integrity. So um, he did not take steroids playing during that era, even though he was a good player, could have been great if he took steroids. Yeah. And so that integrity, that commitment to truthfulness, honesty, um, is a virtue we wanted to raise up as, hey, this is heroic. So, um, and then we have Jose, um, um, he's from Puerto Rico. And when the Hurricane Maria struck and all this damage ensued and tremendous suffering, um, instead of, you know, complaining and being bitter and, you know, take, not taking decisive action, he gathered his knights around him and they started positively impacting the community and bringing water, bringing supplies, helping out priests that were locked away and couldn't get out because sure. of the flood water. So uh, when disaster strikes, when there's a need, we profiled men, um, whether they're going to war, whether they're at bat in a baseball game or whether they're dealing with a flood, they're taking action, they're following the gospel, living for their brother and sister, putting others' lives ahead of theirs. And so we've got a lot of really inspiring stories. That's great. I'm always impressed, you know, when Mr. Anderson gives his state of the state kind of uh, yeah. address and talks yeah. about the charitable works, yeah. um, because it's such an impressive uh, inventory, if you will. Yeah. But another thing that's very impressive is that mm. this documentary, Everyday Heroes, airing on secular TV. Now soon, you know, we'll be able to air it on Catholic TV and we're yeah. really blessed to do so. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about that relationship in the last minute or so we have during the interview here. Yeah, so we're really pleased that it had a six-week run on ABC. So there's, I think, 212 ABC affiliates across the country and through the Interfaith Broadcasting Commission. The mm -hmm. film aired about 80% of them. Um, and then we're really ha happy we can give it an extended life, giving it to Catholic TV and having it air throughout the country. And and hopefully inspiring more men. I, you know, last year, the Knights of Columbus, I think we gave uh, about around $200 million to charity and donated 75 million hours. And those are impressive numbers, yeah. but I think it's more impactful sometimes seeing an actual story um, at the micro level sure. and seeing how that plays out. And so those numbers are impressive, but then watching a council in Ottawa, Ontario, welcome persecuted Christians from Syria, take the kids out, teach them how to speak English, teach them how to go ice skating, um, help them get their driver's licenses, dropping off dinners, to mm. um, so all, the, all these different yeah. actions that really impact lives. Um, we hope these stories show more about what the Knights do and also be an invitation for men who want to become involved and become a Knight. Yeah, it's, and it is a great invitation, that very 
practical stuff, somebody might mm -hmm. say, oh, I don't want to get involved in this religious aspect, but yeah. not knowing that that corporal work of mercy is, in fact, a, a religious aspect. So thanks so much for Thank making you. such a wonderful documentary. Thank I've you. seen the trailer and had the chance to preview it. You, you. you should be proud of your work. That's great, and we're so Thank pleased you. to be able to share it on Catholic TV. Thank you, Bonnie. Thanks for being with us.